The report this week by Brooke Kinsella, the actress whose brother was knifed to death two years ago, called for more action to tackle girl gangs. Crimes of violence by girls have risen by over 50% in recent years. Has feminism bred violent women? Uh, Connor, interesting. Um, this has been a, a... It wasn't an academic <coughs> debate, this, and an academic question. Mm. It was, has been much talked about since the 60s and 70s. But you say, if I'm right in saying that, feminism has made women, in a sense, like men, yeah? It, it, no, I think, I think feminism is, is a, a brilliant thing and a much-needed thing. But the feminism we've had on show quite often has simply been naked emancipation. It, it, it's been simply um, be anything you want. And then the only thing left to do is copy men. So has it denuded women of their kind of well, female identity? Well, where, where, name me a, uh, the, 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 the female role models. I'm Who, one. <laughs> You're my teachers. Yeah. You're my exactly. We need more of you. But the point is, I mean, if you think about the 60s, you think about contraception, you think of the pill. That was the ultimate fantasy for me, not for women. I mean, it's non-consequential sex. And, and uh, so, you know, no real pregnancy anymore. Fantastic. This is a male fantasy, not a female fantasy. <laughs> and and <laughs> the only and if you right. think about the, be if you think about the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. is that you, Marco? Marco suggests you should become a footballer. Yeah. 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 What the Baroness thinks is so funny about this is absolutely true. It's a perfectly reasonable statement. It's, it was a revolution in behaviour. Of course it was, but so it was whatever, a revolution. Whatever it is, it's not funny. I just it's a revolution it. what is it to be a woman? for women, not about men. What is it to be a you woman? Know, the fact that you get control over your body. And you are allowed to have some fun, makes the men feel no, no, free. No, well, no, that's no. wonderful. But, if you look outside, but the whole point is. The night club is on a Saturday night in Manchester, Liverpool, back to football, and all those ladies queuing outside the nightclub, desperate just to get with a footballer, celebrity, money. They, there's no womanness left. I mean, I'm all for feminism, look, but I let me know what it is to be a woman, not simply... What is it to be a woman? Are you, it sounds like a 50s notion. What do you think, Peter? I mean, do you no, think, I don't think How that. do you feel, Peter, when you see a woman who's had too much to drink, for example? Well, I, 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 I feel badly when I see anyone who's had too much to drink, okay. but I think, I think it is worse. Uh, and I think women feel, women feel this way as well. Most of them do when they see w women who are drunk because it, 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 it just somehow is. Don't ask me to explain it. Maybe it's the corruption of the best is the worst of all. But it just happens to strike me that way, and it, I think it's most you know, down the centuries. Uh, poets and everybody else have written about how distressing it is to see women in states. But of, look, of, you're wait talking. a minute, wait a minute, you interrupt me all the time. Just give me one, <laughs> just give me <laughs> one <laughs> complaint <laughs> sentence. Let's, give you a little, let's okay, create a little just island one, for Peter to make his point. And I know you're desperate without, to come without, in. Without, without being interrupted. <laughs> Feminism is a, is, is a wonderful project. The emancipation of women from stupid restrictions, preventing them from going to university, stopping them from voting, stopping them from holding property, all that. Who can disapprove? This is not about feminism. This is the mad project which says that women are the same as men. And everybody in this room knows perfectly well it's, that that is not so. And they should not <laughs> attempt to treat women the same. And if they were, no, no, sorry. I must bring the baroness sorry, sorry. in. If I don't oh. bring her in, I think she's going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> Is, are we confusing? Is Peter right in a sense? It's, we're confusing equal to with the same look, as. It, it seems to me that you know, giving the two the men in this room the right to define feminism for it's us sexist. is problematic. Of course, it's your right, but I won't respect that one. <laughs> <laughs> it seems feminism is not about us being men. Feminism is about us being equal but different, and feminism. <laughs> What would the difference be? And, and feminism is about celebrating differences. Absolutely. That is to say, Absolutely. some of us like mm. to work the man hour mm. and make the man wages. Mm -hmm. uh, many of us Absolutely. would like to work the women hour, but I would like to be paid wages for housework, for child rearing. The day you pay me for what I do, I, I might become the kind house. of woman that you like. <laughs> so Peaches, cooking is fun. What about violent women? Why are there so many women? What's going on there? What? Especially now, what, <laughs> pe pe peaches. Well, now, let me just explain a little bit. You had a, a, a starring role in the, at the end of the, the last discussion, but you run, the, you run this charity, uh, Reality Bites, uh, and it does outreach work Reality in schools. Reality Bites UK. Reality Bites UK. Right, you're former gang member, but you were you kind of rebelled against your imposed role as a girl in your family. Yeah. Explain that. Well, for me, um, I grew up in a West Indian household. Um, 
and it was very much like my mum would come in from work and she'd go, the dishes, you know, the cleaning. And my brother was almost like ignored. Yeah. I didn't understand that. In fact, I rebelled against it yeah. to the point of where I would beat up my brother. Yeah. Now, <laughs> you laugh. But should you laugh at it? But should it be something to be laughed at? Mm. You know, mm. and and yet again, no. I agree that I agree that a man and a woman should know how to keep the home, not just the woman. You know, in in go on Abu. Yeah, in Islam. Oh go. Uh, she's brought in Abu. I can't do anything else. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know, uh, in Islam, men and women they have uh, distinct uh, responsibilities and gender. They do not clash. Mm -hmm. And therefore, that's why we don't have this problem mm -hmm. of women beating up men and so on. But do you no, pay no, your no, wife? In, uh, do you pay let, your let, wife her wages? Let me, she, do you pay well, your she she mess that she's okay, in okay, okay. Listen, let listen, listen, listen. Rather, rather than go back to the, 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 the go back to the seventh no, century, I'd just, like to just talk about carry on. No, all I'm going to say to you is, I understand. I'm not West Indians, Africans, bloody. What did you feel you have to be like then? Why? I personally felt like that was a violation. Yeah, like how could how could I felt. Remember, that was when I was young. Mm. You Islam, you'll get hold one, one, one moment, one moment, because I've I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually looked into Islam, okay. yeah? I've looked into many religions. Well, it's not another discussion but about no, Islam, No, 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 Nikki. No. What I'm saying is... Can you wanna, do you want to take over? I mean, I... <laughs> Peaches show, you're on. Anyway, what it's I'm saying happen. is... what It is. But what I'm saying is, is that in the home, as a child, I didn't understand and I was totally against it, yeah, because as far as I was concerned, my brother could also pick up a broom. That, because I rebelled against that, in my later on years, I went out on the roads and I said, I'm not going to be a weak-minded woman. I'm not going to be somebody who's going to turn around and have a boy turn around and tell me how to go on. And I ended up becoming a tomboy, so to speak. And I said, you know what, I'll challenge any boy, even you, Abu. You understand? No, and that's, no, that's what, no, I'm, I'm just saying, I would challenge. To fight? Young, to, I was challenged to fight. Yeah, and that's because I was so angry. Why are you so angry? Why was I so angry? <laughs> <laughs> why was I so angry? Another great was. idea, Abu Meets. It's another great it's TV it's concept. I've I just mean, come you have to understand, that was past. That was past. <laughs> I've, grown up, in I've, I've grown up into a woman now. And I appreciate being a woman now. You, it, yeah. and, under this system, you'll never get your rights because oh, the women have been fighting for years. Oh. Anna, yeah. Anna, do you want to come in here? Do you want to come in here? Why is it happening? Why <laughs> is, it, is it an illusion? There's something, and Julie, I know you've got a view on this. Um, is, 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 is it an illusion because it's being more reported, or are more women getting into trouble for crimes of violence now than ever before? And if it is happening, why? Well, I think there is an increase in the amount of women that are being reported, but I don't actually think there's an increase in the amount of women that are committing crime. Mm. I used to be my brother's lookout when I was little, knowing. As a young girl, I would get a slap on the wrist where he's getting more trouble. Mm -hmm. So what, what it is, is we're learning more from the media and the stuff that we're seeing. We're learning a tacit acceptance towards violence and then it's being recognised. So I don't think there is an increase in the actual level. The woman who bullied me at school was a girl. It wasn't a man. I was more terrified of a fellow girl. Than, than a man yeah. at school. So I think we've always been violent or we've always had the same kind of tendency. People are violent for a number of reasons. A quarter of all violent assaults, I think it is, are, are now by women. Is that self-defence? Jilly, what's that? We have, to be, we have to be extremely careful. You, you mentioned earlier that this debate had come up in the 1960s, 1970s. Mm. That's not actually true. So in, in 1876, um, a writer about crime in England suggested that every step a woman takes towards her emancipation is a step towards the precipice at the bottom of which lies prison. <laughs> um, I suspect, I suspect yeah. similar views were voiced quite a lot earlier than that, but we yeah. have to be extremely sceptical about this, this headline statistic mm -hmm, you yeah. put up. Mm. Um, uh, as we've, we've heard, actually, increases or changes in criminal statistics are generally as much, if not more, about the way we deal with, the way we perceive and the way we respond to and police um, certain types of behaviour. And it's, it's, there's a very good case that violence by women has been responded to extremely differently. And also it's the, the way that it's reported and that maybe exactly. the, the, the disproportionate uh, concentration if it's a woman who does a bad thing from, from a man who does it. I mean, there were a couple of cases recently where the Ruby Thomas... There were. Who, was, who, who, ..who killed that poor man, Ian Bainham, mm -hmm. in the homophobic attack. She was a private schoolgirl and that, so that got a lot of head, headlines. I think one of the reasons that... In a, in a sense, it's, it's because these kind of incidents are so rare that we get so excited about them, and mm. we need to remember that they are actually extremely rare incidents. Um, the, the, the statistics that we heard earlier the do gang not members stand, at Victoria Station. They don't yeah. stand up to rigorous analysis, actually. Um, if you look at the most recent statistics, violent crime by young women has plummeted in the last year or two. I don't think anything has been going on socially mm. to, to have precipitated that, that 
decrease, it's more but about it, changes in But policing, it's doubled yeah. over the last decade. What is, is there something else going on here? The earlier sexualisation drink. of... of <laughs> dr sorry, drink. 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 Uh, the, 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 the taboo against drunkenness, both among men and among women, has almost completely collapsed. And if you want to see the root of so much of the violence and unpleasantness in modern society, it comes from that. But there was a very strong taboo in most of this country for most of the last century against drunkenness, particularly among women. And that's okay. gone. And I think that it, it, you can't really have this discussion without mentioning it. Pictures. From my own findings, because I've, as I said, I run a few girl programs in and around the UK. And in my own found findings, I found a lot of reasons, whether it be rebellion against, you know, the inequalities, whether it be alcohol, which is alcohol and drug misuses much more um, violent women up north than in London, to be honest. And also things like PMT gets neglected. There are a lot of... <laughs> no, and, I'm, and I'm being very serious because a lot of young ladies who I've worked with, yeah, are not actually aware of their menstrual cycle. Two weeks before their yeah. menstrual cycle, most of these young girls are extremely violent. <laughs> However, and they don't know this, no. but when we monitor it, and I make literally any young lady I work with, I do a monitor, but, I do a monitor. Uh, a lady here wants to join, yeah. I just want to say, <coughs> yes, my coming, lovely. you don't have to say that to me. Everyone I might not lovely. have uh, a leg to stand on, but women in the north of England are becoming much more chav-like. Watch more yeah. Am I Chav. a chav like? Loved it. Um, <laughs> absolutely. Because, I mean, I spent... What, Frankie Howard used to say, common as muck. Well, you mean? I agree with that. I mean, Do I you? live in York now, but I used to live in London. And uh, I notice a difference. Well, I mean, I think I that's... do notice a difference. I mean, I think that's just the difference between the rich and the poor getting wider. You know, the, mm -hmm. the, the gap there. But it, do you know what the, the fundamental difference? It's education. Yeah. Well, Chilly. We, we, the, the debate was about does, femini does feminism breed violence? If we, we look at the kind of gains of feminism, the women who have gained educationally and in terms of employment are professional women. These aren't the same women that we find in the criminal justice system. If you look at the women in our courts and in our prisons, they are very disadvantaged, come from working poor class. backgrounds, working class predominantly, black women are overrepresented, um, they have histories of abuse and violent victimisation. They're not women leaving the boardroom and attacking people no, on the way home. No, but is there an attitude that goes right up to the boardroom, do you think? Do you think there's a sort of new, a new vibe, a new feeling that goes up to the boardroom and, and, and makes more violent people throughout society? Well, I Don't can... ask Abu a question, just answer I'm that gonna, one. I'm not going to ask Abu nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, for me personally, because I can only talk about me mm. and my findings, so I need to make that very, very clear. And as far as I'm concerned, because I'm an ex-offender, I am a former gang member, so the media like to say. Yeah, but the thing about Were it... Were you in a gang? I was around a lot of people. We never had no name, we never had no colours. We was just a lot of people. However, now in society, we have this word called gang, which has come How out... How did you get sucked into it? Pardon? How did you get sucked into this gang? How, do, how did I get... You mean sucked into my lifestyle? With all those people? Well, it goes like... Um, it goes a little something like this, but I'll give you the edited version. <laughs> yeah. Um, my life, I, I just had... Uh, I came from a background which I saw a lot with my eyes. I'm not going to talk about it so much. If you want to know a little bit more, go to Peckham Finishing School for Girls on YouTube, OK? <laughs> BBC Free. But, however, my thing is this, is that I, I lived a lifestyle which I was... I was, I was going, I was unbalanced and I was confused. You know, we talk about this word freedom, but is anybody actually free in this world? Is anybody? For, for well, just, I, I know you I, want to... Can I just say that we really have to think about, <laughs> first, these reports being reported, mm -hmm. and also who judges the judges. Mm -hmm. The problem that there's so many more proportionately women in prison is that men, who are usually judges, judge women who break the law very harshly. Yes. And the difficulty is, once you've been labelled, then there is no way back. So that once you've been known as a criminal, unless you are a fantastic activist, and we have examples here, but otherwise, you're labelled as a criminal. Which is what Cheryl are the Cole? choices? Cheryl Cole was an... Um, she was... She, she got the, into trouble, Forget the she? racism, but the actual act of violence. Yes. She's, she was um, in Girls Aloud. She is now a role model on the X Factor panellist, but she never got no big sentence. 
She actually got a slap on the wrist. But then you look at somebody like Chris Brown and Rihanna incident, if you don't know our She got a community list. sentence, but maybe she's turned her it life around a, like you have. Hold on, it was a slap on the wrist. I got a common assault. I got time in prison for a common assault. She never. There's the difference. Inequality, it, money sorry. talks. <laughs> We haven't got long, we haven't got long. But say it quickly. Uh, it's Muhammad, is it? Uh, I think his point is absolutely bang on. It's to do with rich and poor. Yes. It's to do with yeah. your guy becomes your society. There isn't society mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. There isn't any mobility between it. And so, yeah, of course you do whatever it is within your locality that makes you seem cool. Accept it. But do you know what? And there's a hierarchy within that. Peaches, Peaches, we are, we are at the end of our time. Give Peaches a round of applause, everyone. Oh, it's gone. Time. All the debates continue on our message board.